Hello and welcome to another Autodesk Elias Quick Tip video. My name is Johan Mendesten and today I will give you an in-depth look at the new and improved transform tool. We're running out of time, so we better get started. Here is the ant chair model from a previous tutorial. And I will use this as a subject for demonstrating the transform tool. Speaking of which, it can be found, well, you guessed it, under the transform tab. And clicking the tool icon gives me this manipulator with which I can move the object either on an axis or on a plane. I can also rotate it and last but not least scale it proportionally or non-proportionally. If you are in the sub-D workflow like I am then you can also access these tools individually by pressing the W, E or R key respectively on your keyboard. This is of course handy, but it's really nothing special since this functionality has been around in Alias for forever. So why am I deciding on making a video on it now? Well, with the release of Alias 2021, this tool has been enhanced. It has been made to work not only on objects, but also on components. And in addition to that, they've introduced two different modes, the pivot mode and the global mode. And let me now show you why that makes a huge difference. If you look closely, you will see that this piece is out of position and it needs to be raised to match the one on the left hand side. I activate the controls for both pieces and then I select this one before going into the transform tool. And for this to work, it's important that I set the mode to global. Then I click this adjust manipulator button. To do that, adjusting the manipulator that is, I click on and select the edge and you'll see that that align the manipulator to that edge. And now I need to press this button once again to get into transform mode. And then it's just a matter of holding control and snapping to the points of the object on the left hand side to align them. Let me now bring back one of the legs into the view. And let's pretend I want to slide this object along the leg. Then I once again make use of the transform tool. And I click this button or I press the spacebar. I align the manipulator to the edge, then I press the spacebar once again. And now I can slide it along the leg. I want to scale this object, which isn't really working for me when using the non-proportional scale tool, since that is skewing the object. So what I want to do instead is to select all these faces and then once again rely on the transform tool. I align the manipulator to the bottom center vertex. And now I can easily scale the object on a custom axis without it getting distorted. Here is a working progress model of the chair seat. And as you can tell, I managed to screw up the surfaces real bad with this one. There are a lot of highlight problems all over the model and this we can't have, so I need to fix it. Care to guess which tool I'm going to use? Obviously it's going to be the transform tool. I align the manipulator to this vertex. I press spacebar to get back into transform mode and then I can simply scale to flatten it all out. Then I proceed to the backrest where I align the manipulator to this edge which has the proper angle. And now it's just a matter of scaling with the blue box to align and flatten everything. And look at that. Our surfaces are nice and tidy once again. One overlooked thing about the new and improved transform tool with the global mode that I would like to point out is that it also helps me out when making selections. Here you see me trying to select these two vertices. And if I would have done this correctly, the manipulator would have been placed perfectly in center of them. But now I can see that it's a little bit off to the side. And that tells me I made a mistake when trying to make the selection. And when I now tumble the camera, 
that confirms my suspicion that I accidentally selected another vertex on the other side of the chair. So notice how that when global mode is enabled, the manipulator is always in the very center of the selection. And last but not least, I want to clarify something. Because in one of my previous videos, I said that the transform tool doesn't work on planes or canvas images. But that's only true when you're in the global mode. So if you switch to pivot mode, it does work. As you can see me demonstrating here. And with that, we reached the end of this quick tip video. And if you are using Alias 2021, try this tool out, since it's very powerful and useful. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.